Hey there, Clanians! It's me, Creepin' Jay, and welcome back to Skyrim. Wow, this is a nice view, actually. <laughs> I cannot hear a thing. Do you have the music kicking? Hmm? So, let's see. Interesting. Yeah. Can I steal your flowers? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> My things. <laughs> Arrgh. Okay, so let's see. How do we access this? Before the storm! So we gotta go to right, White Run. Aha. Here. Let's get the turn all the way around. So let's go do that. First, there's some cabbages down here, so I have to grab them. You don't mind, do you? No. Ooh, there's another one. <laughs> there's another one. There we go. So, real quick, let's just see what this guy's got. Thank you so much for taking care of those steeds. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Okay, so... We up on this fish and rub. <laughs> oh, come back. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. A pearl. <laughs> Iron shield. Wow. Potions. Minor healing. Magica. Fire resistance. Stanima weakening. Three hundred. It's like that terrible. Oh, I can't get it. Man. Oh well. Till next time. Okay, I'll just do it later then. Okay. How do I put this back? R? Yes, R. Is there anything under the bridge? No, there is that. It could be, but this is ooh flowers. Don't mind at all if I do.
So I'm thinking about removing inventory management. Oh, hello. From the videos. For the most part, anyways. <laughs> so I think, because I think, um, half of the whole video is literally just me rummaging through my inventory. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind the long videos for this game, but it's almost two hours. That's, that's, that's insane. That's insane. That's insane. Oh, I, I wish you could hide inside here. That would be cool. Ew. Mushrooms. This would be fun to um, dive off of. <laughs> well, that's cool. There's like a little house down there. I'm trying to go this way anyways. I've been here before, but um... I got ambushed. He says he gets ambushed. <laughs> well, am I too heavy or something? I, I don't know. How do I open my inventory? I have to dispose of the body. Where did I just throw that thing? I threw it somewhere. Oh, right here. Okay. Time to dispose of the body. Bye! Have a nice trip! <laughs> Okay, now we can proceed. Yeah, is there a way to get houses, be able to like get your own house in this game? I'm gonna save. Just in case. Hi! Imperial business. Be on your way. Citizen, I'm warning. Your presence is interfering with Imperial business. Be gone. What if I talk to him? If you know any true sons of God, ah! tell them. No! No! <laughs> water! Get to the water! Dispose of myself! They'll never catch me if I get away in here. I think I'm safe. Yes. I think I'm safe. 
it should be safe. Oh, I got a butterfly. So many flowers. Flowers. Lots of flowers. You can never have too many flowers. Bird. Oh, we. Well, that's a barn. Well, that's cool. I wonder if that's actually how windmills work. You know, like you got the gear thing that moves this. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is how they work. It has to be. I don't think they'd do it like that if they didn't work like that. No, don't mind me. I'm just, ew, that looks ruined. I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> Bye. I could have freed him. Maybe I should have done that. You know, free them, then run. Oh, W? Yes. That was easy. Money. Nobody will know. There's nobody here to see me. Anything is legal when there's no cops around. <laughs> okay, come on now. Eh. Have some more porridge, so I'm gonna start exploring this area. It's a nice part. It's a nice area, though. Math. Oh, shut up. Oh.
I'm sure there'll be something in town. If I can ever get to it. Well, looks like there's a spot right there! Nice. I could take the bridge, but that's too much work. This place looks like it's important. Looks important. Butterfly! Come to me! Come to me, please! Come to me! Jerk. Oh, come near me. Hi. Welcome. If you I'm need to send her into the fire, I'm hunting sky misery. You're in the right Whoa, place. Whoa, put that away. Hunting brew uses only the finest natural honey. Not that sludge you'll find at Golden Glow Estate. Take a look. Yes, food. Take a look. <laughs> Thank you. If you're looking to purchase any mead, speak to the owner, Sabio. We may be small, but what we lack in size, we make up for in quality. You need something to do, or you just enjoy slowing down the hard-working folk? Oh, shut up. Now I can eat. I can eat all my food is that. Tasty. Oh, come on. was. Amber folks, there is no such thing as too much flowers. See, there's more flowers over here. And a lot of them. Hi. I think I'm being chased. <laughs> Idiot. I could just like ransack this whole area. <laughs> I'm not going to. Ooh.
Hi. Need a ride? Uh. Well, I know the companions make their home here. The Mead Hall, your vassal, is the oldest building in the city. Oh, and there's a nasty feud between two families called the Grey Manes and the Battleborns. You want to be careful there. The rest you can find out by asking the townsfolk. Start with the barkeep at the Bannered Mare or the Castle Stewart. This is like Romeo and Juliet stuff. <laughs> Hi. Got the fleetest feet in all the Skyrim. None of them's older than nine, and the youngest is six. Now the horse I got for sale is seven years old, but in fine health. She's got a lot of spirit, that one. We've taken to calling her Queen Outsiger, or just Out for short. I expect you can name her anything you like once she's yours. Ride strong. Mm -hmm. Flowers, more flowers, more flowers. Ooh, what's in here? Nothing. Hi. Need a horse? Talk to my father, Skullbar. I don't like this base now. I heard a weird noise. I guess I'm in here now. <laughs> I am now on the roof. Meh. I was gonna try to go behind the horse, but I don't wanna get kicked. Right. <laughs> Ooh. Something clearly happened here. I am now in town. Officially. Hmm. Too bad there isn't any like, chests or anything in here. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Do I go do I go in? And I just told the truth. Riverwoods in danger too? You better go on in. You'll find the yarl in Dragon's Reach at the top of the hill. Okay, thank you. Now let me get some flowers first. Flowers is more important than a small little riverwood town. Oh, this door is huge. I'm gonna save right here. Tell who Standing here, bang, replies the warm bonus. <clears throat> well no duh. <laughs> Wait, I know you. Sure you do. Oh, 
I'm not gonna loot anything in here. Or am I? Hi. Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Hmm. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it, Yorland. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Don't mind me just taking your flowers. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. I don't Hi. to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Yorland Greymane's got that on me. Man's steel is legendary. All I ask is a fair chance. Hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. <laughs> You're funny. Pickaxe. Ooh. Steel sword. I can get a steel sword. I'm going back to the steel stuff. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Okay. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the Bannered Mare from Holda. About the same as everyone else? They're the cat folk of elsewhere. Great warriors? Do you mind, sir? The way I hear it, elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. Yeah, these Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, Nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Reputation mostly. A lot of Khajiit turn to smuggling and thievery to get by. A few bad apples spoil the bunch. You know how it is. Before my ma and all passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. I know where those are. You do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? Yes. Farewell. Damn those great names to oblivion. They want to back the storm cloaks, they'll get what's coming to them. Grey Mane or Battleborn. Got stones in your ears? I asked what side you're on. Grey Mane or Battleborn. I don't Long know. Live the Empire. Flowers.
Yeah, I'm trying not to start any trouble. In case it ain't obvious. Hi! Ah, hello, my Nord friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? Yes, I hear that question often. My brother Anorieth and I came up with it one night after consuming rather too much mead. After our drinks, we went out for a moonlight hunt. We got separated, and in his drunken state, my brother mistook me for a deer. He shot an arrow that pierced my, well, rump. After such a memorable adventure, we knew we had the name for our shop. Hmm. What are you hunting? Never mind. I don't want to know. What are you hunting? Never mind. I don't want to know. Yeah, he doesn't have any. Thank you very much for your business. The guy is gone. Hi! <clears throat> Hi! You look a bit peaked. You sure you shouldn't be home in bed? Oh, shut up. I know nothing of fear and nothing of remorse. Pay my fee, and together we will vanquish any foe. Walk always in shadows, so that you will see your foes before they see you. Hmm. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. What's upstairs? Fix your roof. Wow. Get the flowers. Get the flowers. Come on, you can do this. Get the flowers. Get the flowers. Wait, I know you. Hmm. Yeah, I get that a lot. Are you a town? Trading place? Please tell me you are. Finally. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning you. But that bard is the worst. That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare saying he'll Conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Huh. I 
can take care of myself. A white run woman learns how to handle a few idiot men early in life. You've got no idea. Half the men in White Run have proposed to me. Some will even say them. They'll never understand. No amount of flowers or honeyed words are going to change my mind. Right now, all that matters is my daughter Mila. No man's going to get between me and my little girl. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Cabbage. Eat fish. <laughs> I only have two garlic. Remember, fresh food and vegetables every day. I ain't done nothing. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Sure, whatever. You look angry. <laughs> Bits and baubles for sale. All crafted by the best blacksmith in Skyrim. <laughs> I can tell you you were on here asking a question like that. My husband, the Orland, tends the Skyforge up at Yorvaska. The companions need for it. Oh, there's no finer smith in the nine holes. You should ask him about his work. It's the only subject that'll get him talking. Well, that and maybe those stuck-up, dung-sniffing battle bones. Head up the steps from the market and look to your right. Can't miss it. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Ooh. Oh, miss. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Miss. No, come, go back. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. I guess she's got nothing. You take care of yourself now. Hi, child. I work with my mother. Sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days. The hard work. Her. Come see my collection of gray mane's finest trinkets. You'll not find their like an old Tamriel. <laughs> get the flowers. Ugh, just get the flowers. Just do anything but get the flowers. I know you. Yeah, I get that a lot. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. You sound like a friend. <laughs> I work for Bellator at the General Goods Store. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Excuse me? I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a little joke. Hmm. Interesting, to say the least. But with all that's been going on, on the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some well, elevated prices. All that matters is that I have what you need, and it's worth every septum. Isn't it obvious? Wonderful weather and hospitable people, of course. Not to mention my great fondness for dragons and petty political power struggles. Ah, but without a doubt, the most compelling feature of this 
frozen wasteland is the volley of inane questions leveled at me on a regular basis. Hmm. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Food. Potato. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Tomatoes. Okay, so I have some miscellaneous stuff here. Oh, I just press E to sell it. Do come back. Here, I'll just for the so if you want to pause and read this, you can. Ooh, interesting. Okay, there you go. Wait, I know you. Yes, I hear that a lot. Don't mind me just taking all your flowers. The air is chilly here. Yeah, you remember folks, there is no such thing as too many flowers. Okay, so we'll head over there. Ooh, I like how there's two moons. It's cool. How is that even possible? What? All I can think about is my son, my soul. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. Those battle born, they're in with the Imperials. They know it too, and yet they lie to my very face. It's not wise to discuss it here. Please, if you truly wish to help, meet me at my home. I'll tell you the whole story. <laughs> I guess we're just following her. How do you feel? I think you might be sick. Wait, I know you. Yeah, shut up. Let me get my flowers. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. What is her house? They're going here. No. I lost her.
Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet one. Wait, I... Actually, hold on. We're gonna start. Go to quests. Right? Yes. There. Oh, well, it's right here. Welcome to our home. Mother, what's the meaning of this? Who have you brought into our home? Averstein, put that down. He's here to help us find Thoro. How do we know he's not spying for the Battleborn? This was foolish. We can't trust anyone. Who knows what they'll do if they find me here? I please anything you can do to help me find my Thoro. Thoro's disappearance has been hard on all of us, but Avelstein has taken it badly. He's afraid of being taken as well, so he hasn't left the house. All he talks about is Thoro. Please help Alberstein if you can. Something has to be done, and we're all going to lose our minds. You take care of yourself now. I trust you're not planning any trouble. So, you're what here to help? I, for you, I know that Thorald's not dead. I just know it. The Imperials have him and are keeping him somewhere, but I don't know where. Those damned Battleborns, they know something. They're hiding it. They practically taunt us with it. They must have some sort of proof. There's gotta be something in that house of theirs. I just know it. I don't dare leave the house myself, so I need your help. <sighs> the Battleborns, the Emperor's biggest bootlickers here in Whiterun. Their connections to the Empire and the Legion are well known. When Thoral didn't return home, there was no question in my mind. They knew Thoral supported the Stormcloaks, knew he was gonna aid them in battle, made sure he didn't come back. Locked him up someplace to get back at my family. I'm sure of it. Anything that confirms that Thoral isn't dead, but is being held captive, I know those Battleborns have it. They'd be hiding it, of course. Wouldn't want it to get out that they've been lying this whole time. But you might be able to butter them up enough to lower their guard. Best if you didn't mention to anyone that you saw me here. Do you have news? Did you find something? Yeah. Let's see. Okay. I'm sure these flowers have something about the value. Let's, let's see. So, is there any ingredients? They are. So, yes. Okay.
All of the dead. No. Still more? Okay, what can I get rid of? Skewer tail. There we go. Person. Catacombs. I don't like it in there, I don't like that noise. There's a castle. Okay, so... Yes. Gotta save. Hi. Can't a woman get a moment to herself? Leave me. Meh. Last warning. Leave now. Hi, child. You should have listened. Guards, help! Trespasser! I warned you. Back off! By the wood of the yard. Stop right there. Smart man. Now come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Staying safe, I hope. Thinking of settling in? You have the house for you. Please. Is there an underwater area down here? Looks like there is. Whoa. What is going on? Everything's all right. What if I go in here I'll fix it? It will. Okay. Okay, what if I save again? This time, like, new save again. <laughs> you have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? <laughs> ah! 
Darn it. <sighs> oh, I died. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you and your are not supposed to see it? How do I get out of it? What is he doing? Is he trying what is he doing to my left? Committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Uh. Dang it! I, s I messed up. I messed up. Okay, so. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What's. I'll be for the best. So I have to like sneak. I'm in. So, we'll save a new one. You're not supposed to be it. <laughs> okay, so let's see what the book says first before you give it. Has come to my attention that inquiries have inquiries have been made as to the whereabouts one thorough grimming. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you can read it. If only you could help bring my son back to me. I can walk the fire just fine. Will they be mad if I sleep in one of the beds? I cannot sleep in an owned bed. No, I cannot. Well. Do you have news? Did you find something? I knew it. Let me see. Please. The Thalmor. By the Nine. It's worse than I thought. So, North Watch Keep. Then we know where to hit him. I'll do anything if it means saving my brother. You'll join us, won't you? Thorald can't be left to those monsters. What? You alone, reasoning with the Thalmor? 
That's madness, friend. You're serious, aren't you? Very well. I'll give you a chance. But if you can't do it, I will. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Woo! Okay, so we have we have this other quest we have to do as well. Let's see what that was. Before the storm. Yes, so we'll come back to this. We'll do that in the next episode. <laughs> Sidetrack. Oh, good okay. So many flowers. She never wrapped too many flowers. Flowers are nice. Yeah, there's like that thing over there. Need supplies? See Bellathor at his store. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Okay. Interesting door. <laughs> wow. Nothing? My lord, please. This is What's no the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Valgraf is not receiving visitors. I just... Who's this then? As House Carl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. You know about Helgen? The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Approach. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Uh, I'm going to say it. Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute, especially now. What I want to know is, what exactly happened to Helgen? I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this... What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord. We should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. The Jarl of Ulfric is lurking in the mountains. That is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irelet, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service. But I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. Mm. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. So we're doing two quests at once today. Nice. Faringar, 
I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the owl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragon. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Whoa. An old tomb built by the ancient Moors, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. Well, you must preserve some professional secrets, must we? I have my source. Reliable. Ah, students of the craft. You'll need to start by learning an enchantment. Take an enchanted weapon or piece of armor, then use the arcane enchanter to learn its secrets. The item is destroyed in the process, so be wary. Once you know an enchantment, you'll need a filled soul gem and something to enchant. You'll use the arcane enchanter for that, too. Of course, I have everything you need for sale if you have the coin. I'm not surprised you've never heard of it. Even I used to think it was just a name. But not anymore. The Dragon War was a real event, although only the barest glimmer of the actual events has come down to us. Far back in the mythic era, the dragons were worshipped as gods in Skyrim. Many of the monumental ruins that still dot the landscape were in fact built as temples to the dragons. The details are lost, but at some point, the Nords rebelled. After a long and terrible war, the Nords overthrew their dragon overlord. Oh no, many were killed, of course, but many survived into historical times. Why? This very palace was built by one of Valgrove's ancestors to hold a captive dragon. Hence its name, Dragon Forge. I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. A prospective student, are you? Well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. You should try your luck at the College of Winterhold. I'll put it simply, so you'll understand. I advise the Jarl in matters of magic. If the Hold is faced with any threats or mysteries of a magical nature, I am called upon to explain things and suggest a course of action. Hopefully that answer will satisfy you. Good day. This is a priority now. Anything we can use to fight this dragon, or dragons, we need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course, Jarl Balgu. You seem to have found me an able assistant. I'm sure he will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt.
Why is it so blurry? What is it that you need? With good planning and constant vigilance. Even now, my court wizard, Berengar, continues his research into ways we might drive back these terrors. We must also have ample reserves of water to combat the fires that will surely spread after an attack. But our greatest weapon? Courage. For if we cannot kill the beast, we must at least have the tenacity to drive it back. Until brave heroes step forward to destroy these monsters, that is the best we can do. No doubt he thought it was the only way to make his point, and also because he knew he could. If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of White Run. No doubt General Tullius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side. But that day has not come yet. Foreshadowing. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. <sighs> God, I'm so heavy. <sighs> I thought you were already on your way to Bleak Vault Barrow. What are you still doing here? The Jarl said retrieving that stone tablet is a priority, remember? Sadly, no. My work affords me few opportunities for such an adventure. Perhaps some hero will bring one to Dragon's Reach, like old Olaf one I once did. What a fascinating conversation that would be. If I said that was a tedious question, would you be smart enough to know what I meant? Probably not. As long as I'm left alone to pursue my research, I don't care who gives the order. Now, I'm a busy man, and your pointless questions are boring terribly. Good day. Okay. Map. Okay. So, I'm going to be... Yeah, I'm going to have to leave it here today. <laughs> This is probably going to be the shortest episode so far. Actually, no, no not yet. Food. Yum. We will come back to this place in the next episode. <laughs> Werewolf place. Those two at it again. Right from the shoulder turn. He's giving you over. I just try to keep out of the way when they start roughhousing. A good bunch of men and women would make too much a mess if you ask me. Goodbye, dear.
Haven't seen your face before. I'm watching you. Ask any fool around here, get a different answer. Mercenaries, warriors of honor, brothers and sisters of the blade, drunk in the rabble. Take your pick. I've been here longer than most of them. Even I don't know sometimes. Just hope we don't kill each other. It's none of our business. There's no honor to be had in the squabbling of y'all. I learned the ways of the Blade in the Great War. Nearly lost my life outside the Imperial City. I came home to Skyrim when it was all over. I wasn't much good at anything other than fighting. Wandered around as a Blade for hire. Damn good, too. The money was good, and the women were good, and the drinks were good. But I was losing myself, my heart. I was lucky the Companions found me. Now there's a reason to be fighting. The honor of my brothers and sisters is worth more than corn. Of course the money is still good. And the drinks. All right then. Oh. For years. There's no more bitter enemy than an old friend. Oh, we've got an old saying. The gray manes have lived in White Run since the first snows fell in Skyrim. Well, maybe that's not entirely true. But our clan's got a long and proud history of this old. We respect the old ways, the Nord ways. The Grey Mane has worked the Skyforge since before the time of my grandfather's father. I, we used to be fast friends, though it was long ago. We were two of the city's oldest and most respected clans. We could trace our histories all the way back to East Grimoire's companions. But then Ulfred got rich and decided he and his kin were too good for us simple, backwards Nord folk. When the troubles began, he took the Empire's side. We haven't spoken much since then. Aye, they're an old clan like ours. But they cast their lot with the Empire when the uprising began. Olfred Battleborn made his money from farming, and got himself some new friends among the Empire's nobles. Now he's in the Emperor's pocket like the rest of them. No regard for honor, tradition. No, oh, they used to be something. Nowadays, they just squabble amongst themselves. Take my advice and keep away. You look too smart to get caught up with this bunch. Well, when you get to be my age, you don't remember why you did much of anything. Only let it happen. There is some truth in that. <laughs> done talking anyway. <laughs> I'd be dead. I had a bad time a few years back. I turned to drink. Vignard. He wouldn't let me stay weak. We've done as much as we can. Prepare for that. Remember, White Run is home to the companions. Any dragon that comes here will get more than his bargain for. To hear Vignar tell it, not to lay about some useless liners who used to know how to fight. He thinks everything used to be better. I, for one, would trust any companion. Oh, I'm not a companion myself. I just help big. He took me in when I was having a tough time and... Well, I owe it. Farewell, sir. Being to the point where you don't remember why you did much or anything. That... You don't remember why you did it, it just happened. That is, there is some truth in that, actually. There is some truth. I have seen some truth. Yes. 
Are you looking to join? I wouldn't get your hopes up. The short answer is, we fight. The long answer is... Uh, forget it. You're not worth my time. So I wouldn't have to answer stupid questions from idiots. You don't just waddle in here and get to speak to the boss. Who do you think you are? If you want to embarrass yourself, I won't stop you. Codlack is the harbinger. He's the closest thing you'll find to a leader around here. Mm -hmm. Until next time. I don't like her. When the Empire surrendered to the old Mary Dominion, they shamed us all. What now? I'm leaving, that's what now. Ooh. Nice clean skies. You're new at getting tired of hanging around talking all day. The companions are my family. We fight so that other people don't have to. We bring honor and glory to ourselves and each other. Vilkas and I have been here since we were little whelps. Our father Jurgen raised us here. Even Vigner couldn't remember companions younger than us. Too confusing for me. Empire, Nords, Talos, who cares? Just tell me who needs bludgeoning. Until next time. Don't go over there. I'll get arrowed. Okay, now, time to see what this thing is about up here. Fix your roof, people. Fix your roof. Oh, blacksmith. Got a lot of steel to shape. The Skyforge? I, my clan fathers, have worked with since the first Grey Mains came to White Pine. Skyforge steel is all the companions will use, for good reason. You blind boy? I'm a blacksmith. Any half would could see that. Why? Who says I have to be? Skyforge Steel is my art and honor. The companions need the best, so they come to me. By Izmir's peer, I ain't one for fewer. You know who the companions are, so quit your asking. Gods be praised. Hmm. There are a lot of steel stuff. I think that like Mother Lady will be like down there. Oh, do I mean just gonna snoop around? Is there something down here? Well, that's cool, you can see through floorboards. The attention to detail. Welcome to War Maidens. Now don't let the name worry you. We got plenty of steel for fighting men. Adrian at her forge, just outside. The place is named after her, War Maidens. It's a childhood nickname given by her father. What I hear, she was playing with swords even back then. Anyway, our wares are strong and the price is fair. What else matters? That'll be the Jarl, Bald Roof the Greater. He's an honorable enough man. Never done wrong by me or my kin. Things are tough for him now, I'd wager. What with the fighting and the dragons. But Bald Roof's a tough old Nord. He can handle it. The finest weapons and armor. Whoa! What? That one looks like it's enchanted! Pickaxe. Whoa! <laughs> Pedal. 
That's cool. Oh. That is very cool. Yeah, we will have to come back for here. We will have to come back. Wait, 154? Oh my god, that alpha dude, that's a steal. What do you mean? Oh. Oh, I was looking at... <laughs> I was looking at that. Good doing business with you. What's back here? Picking pot area. Hmm. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah! Yay! But anyway, anyway, <laughs> anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next wonderful video. I'm Chili. Bye bye! And then suspend some heat first.